Hello, welcome back to Flavor O'Clock, where today I'm going to share with you where, how, and why with the new Watkins Meatloaf Seasoning Pack. Nice comfort food solution. I've made it quite a few times with ground, really good ground beef. And yesterday, just for an alternative, just in case you already have these seasonings on your shelf in your pantry, uh, I'd like to give you some options. So either this single packet will make a decent sized loaf. I do use stoneware. I just, I find whether I'm doing something like a meatloaf or just about anything that needs to be baked in the oven, I love using a stone. But if you've got a glass dish or even, you know, the metal tins, that's fine. But as you can see in my hands, this is the size you would use for that packet. Now, yesterday we used the hamburger seasoning, steak seasoning, and then onion and garlic powder. Now, there's no rhyme or reason to how much we used. What I do share with everyone is you know, use a little bit, you can always add a little bit more. So I'm gonna say, and I'll put it in the description below, approximately how much we used. And to your own taste, you can always add a little bit more. And if, say, you have any food allergies, then you can really control with what you put into your meatloaf dish. So I'm just gonna share now, you would use two pounds of ground beef, two eggs, half a cup of milk, and a quarter cup of breadcrumbs, and I use panko. I, I like the texture, and I always have that in my pantry. So it's very, very simple to put together. And then I did mention this the other day, Watkins does have a really nice uh, organic cooking oil in a spritzer bottle. So that's what I put in the pan before I put the mixture in. And then it's in the oven. Let's see now, what does it say here? We put it in at that for one hour. And as it's baking, it smells wonderful. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. There are many other seasoning packets that are new this year. This is the one that is my favorite. So in the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna share with you the other ones. I'm gonna leave a link below where if you wanted to take a peek to see what else is available, you're more than welcome. If any of you have used this, as there is another suggestion of a topping that you can put on. It's not one of my favorite ingredients, but it definitely, it's a suggestion. So if you've done it and you like it or you have any other, you know, things that you would like to share. Maybe your favorite meatloaf recipe. I've heard that some people put freshly chopped celery and a few other things. And the reason why I'm putting it out there is I never grew up eating meatloaf. So when Watkins came out with this, I thought, I'd like to try and see what it tastes like. I was pleasantly surprised. I really do like this and because I have tried it, I move a lot of these packets. It, it's simple. And another beauty of the packets really is if anybody knows where I live, like I'm using this uh, kitchen, it's beside the home where I live. My kitchen is tiny. I mean really tiny. And I don't have a functioning oven in my home, and which is fine, that's okay. I've got the use of an amazing gas stove here in this kitchen and I'm making the most of it. But it's, if you have a small living space and maybe you have one of those cool little electrical convection ovens that you can put this size loaf pan in it. They do, it will fit. These little packets are great for space saving. You now, if you don't have a lot of space, they come in really handy. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. Please, if you got any benefit from the video today, like, share, 
comment. Love to answer any questions that you may have. I'd like to see any suggestions you may have. Always willing to learn. So stay tuned. I already know what I'm going to be doing on the next one. It's something that I've been practicing on yesterday and today. I've taken a few pictures. I'm going to see how well I can incorporate it into a video. But it is, this is the hint, it is one of the recipes that is on the Watkins website. Very, very simple. Is it for this season? Most definitely. Is it yummy? I think so. So the other hint I'm going to give to you, if you're looking at the recipes, it has the word pumpkin in it. That's all I'm going to tell you for now. So thank you again, and I look forward to you on the next one. Take care.